Sa inyo pong palagay po ba, was uh, declaring martial law, was it really necessary at this time? I'd like to support the President uh, totally in his uh, determination, mm -hmm. but this is only exclusively his to proclaim. And then uh, I hope that uh, for those who have also reservations about his resort to these emergency powers, you should also read uh, the provision on uh, Section 18 of uh, Chapter 4, Chapter 7 of the Constitution. I won't go far, but you know, citing uh, provisions of uh, Section 18, remember, Ginawa yung 1987 Constitution in reaction to what happened in 1970s under uh, the martial law of former President Marcos. Now it's very clear, for example, that the President has only a period of 60 days for that declaration to be effective. So, but he can revoke it earlier if uh, the situation calls for it. Congress can also uh, revoke it or Congress can also extend it depending on the situation. Okay. Unlike in the previous uh, martial law regime, the president is duty bound to submit a report to Congress within 48 hours from the time of the declaration, okay. either in person or in writing. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, unlike before where they closed Congress totally, here Congress will have to continue performing its function. Okay. So, may mga checks and balances that are now uh, 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 there in that uh, provision. The courts are, are mandated to continue functioning regularly. Even the Constitution will have to remain uh, effective. In other words, lahat ng mga provisions doon on human rights and adherence to the rule of law, due process, they are all to be observed. Except in cases referring to rebellion or insurrection or the lawless violence. But under that provision again, even if it is on rebellion or insurrection, government is duty bound to file cases within three days if you arrest someone. So, Andurin, th these are very strict uh, requirements that the Constitution requires.